Now, what we should really do is put laxatives in a punch bowl and break all the bathrooms inside the building. Wait, hold on a minute. Some big ass dude walking on big ass door near my car. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you. Big ass dude wearing these small ass shoes. I stand a little too close to my car. Bro, get your dog away from my motherfucking car. Not the motherfucking dog climbing on top of my car. This. I'm calling animal for on your motherfucking. What the fuck? What the fuck is he doing? What? He's fucking my car! The dog is fucking my car. Is that? Oh. It's fast enough, man. You mark it. Oh. Oh. It's everywhere. It's all over the street. What the hell? Who deserve this? Breaking news! A few hours ago, a man taking a stroll with his dog suddenly turned into a big catastrophe. Reports say that there was a big ass dog pounding away at an innocent man's vehicle. Sounds like a fine night at a Super 8 motel. The aftermath of that lovely session caused a huge amount of car wrecks within the area with slime everywhere. Turns out it was actually cum. My first thought was, holy shit, who busted that nut? I'm gonna put you in that car if you don't shut the fuck up. Welcome to another episode of what the fuck is this stupid bitch talking about now? Wait, wait, stop the video. Okay, so Socket here is going on a little vacation later. This video is supposed to be the first episode of an uh, internet series I'm doing, but fuck it. I'll get something out later. So enjoy this short video I made to hold everyone over while I get all the bigger projects out of the way before my departure. Adios muchachos. A month ago, I mentioned something about a subreddit. Here's some homework. Go search this up and tell me how you feel after searching this up. Don't get me wrong, I like dragons. Pretty dope ass beast. But knowing places like these are extensions of rule 34, so why would I be curious? So I asked myself if I wanted to drain my sanity once again. Without any hesitation, I went back to those subreddits and I had no clue that it was alive and has over 60,000 members. Now my issue was trying to figure out who and why. I feel like a fucking archaeologist trying to uncover the deep mystery of why my 2006 Toyota Prius keeps getting destroyed. There's different works always being posted in this freaking, um, I don't know what the fuck to call this. This is, this is something. <laughs> I apologize if my audio sounds a bit weird. I just woke up and immediately started recording. So, um, I don't know how this is going to sound yet, but enjoy it. Fuck. The 60,000 members alone does not make up for all the people who are involved in this, and I don't mean the subreddit alone. Who would have expected sexual intercourse between automobiles and dragons? Maybe for someone who watches Game of Thrones and everyone in the goddamn furry fandom talking about car sex, the only place that has a hole is the exhaust. How the fuck do you even stick your dick in an exhaust system? This most likely started out as a meme, and once it had a wider audience, that's when people started to fall in love with it. And by love, I mean nutting an unhealthy amount of times to these images. Like, people may have strange fetishes or interests, but you cannot tell me that you- You're not down bad. Let's be real. Warning. This game contains mature content such as the- Excuse you? The acts of consensual car on dragon sex. What a line. I I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> all cars and all dragons in this game are of age and have provided detailed background information before they were cast into this game, as well as screen to be STD free. <laughs> I'm sold. Just from that sentence alone, I would get this game. I deadass want to play the game just to see if it's good. The fact I went from looking at dragons plowing cars to finding this game is insane. I have the sudden urge to print out a large photo, place it in a glass panel that nobody can remove, and leave it in front of the door of my job so it's the first thing every employee sees. If anyone ends up looking at it, then that's their problem, not mine. Free discomfort. Fuck is my life right now?